So, today I got the video on this cool little camera slider that I made. I have a shop class that I like to take highly advantage of and make all the cool things that I can in it. As you know, I made the sweet little camera stabilizer that I made a video on in that class. My last video on it uh, will be linked below or at the end. But it's a sweet little stabilizer. Uh, the video on it's horrible. I sound so arrogant in it. But uh, <laughs> I made a video on this. So go check that out. Anyways, I made this cool little camera slider out of some PVC pipe and some board. Uh, the guys at the shop, in the shop class, I'm just like, hey guys, can you go plane this board for me? And they're like, yeah, okay. So they plane the board for me. I got this sweet little board. And with the table saw, I evened it out on both sides. And then I took a 10 piece piece of uh, PVC pipe, cut it in half at roughly about what half was, and then I started drilling it down at both ends. Then once it was drilled down at both ends, it was bowing up, so I took the drill from the bottom, drilled through to pull it down. Pretty neat little idea. Uh, I got this idea from IndieMogul, so if it sounds familiar, that's why. So go check out IndieMogul's video in the description. Not at the end like the other one, in the description. So alright, after making that, uh, then I decided I had to make top tees for it. I was originally going to take some half inch tees and then cut the bottoms off and just clamp it on there. But I, that, didn't, that didn't work. And then Indiemogo's thing, they had a thing where they had the tees that like clicked on there and then they, they just threw it on the, threw it to like a board. But I, I couldn't find those. So I made my own little thing. So I made a piece of board and then I had it routered to fit on. Looks really cool. And then I also wanted to levitate it somehow. So, you got the two tripods, both on each side. And then they have like a little, little, hard thing of the word, little nut both up in there. And they got the tripods that they screw into that. And then also in the middle, I have a little piece for a nut. So if you, for some reason, wanted to do one tripod, which is really unstable that way, but it worked. Like, kind of held it up. Uh, I didn't test it with my DSLR, but I did it with a little camera that you see in there. And some clips of it that are really cool. It does some really cool things. But that is my camera slider. I like it. I like it a lot. It didn't take long to build it. Oh, it's pretty cool. Anyways, then for the rest of the week, I will probably be doing stuff on more camera stabilizers. Like, I got this one right here. Pretty much any camera will work with one of these. You got the grip here, you can hold it back here. It's got a little grip right here. It's made of PVC, but it costs almost nothing to make. Go to spray paint, looks sexy. Then I have another one for my handy cam, which I actually filmed part of this with on that. I love this spinning chair. Here is the little one for my. Uh, recorder thingy, which I'll make a video on that later too. I'll try to do a video a day. It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try and do that. All right, well, thanks for watching. So you got a cool camera slider idea. It takes some amazing shots for some cool videography. Uh, I did do. I did. I did test it with my DSLR, but it was kind of shaky. Uh, I'm guessing if you had like the 70 to 200 lens on there, though would kind of balance it out more because it's got the little point on there. But the heavy L glass and the camera just kind of wanted to lean forward. It's not clipped on. I kind of had to kind of had to hold it down and do the panning. But here's a clip of that. It's magical that I'm not in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that wall. So cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Check you in the next video tomorrow.